Here we go, watch the trailer for Visions of the Past Deal of Fire. Okay, here we go. New Oh Replayable Season 1. Oh, oh yes. Hmm. They've just that's that's yes. That's so yes. Let's just dive into it. Hey guys, this is the trailer. I'm oh, gonna get to play Living World Season 1 finally. Wow. This is what we saw from the teaser already. Okay. You're in the steel warband now. I expect nothing short of absolute perfection. Five great sword variants. Aren't you the sorriest bunch of recruits I've ever laid eyes on? So you've like different playable characters. That's pretty cool. All targets eliminated. Magic Granada tank blast to the face works just the same. Happiness is a smooth tonic. Nicobar. This looks really nice. Nah, that's cool. Upgradable hub with strike mission launch border. That's awesome. Yes, give me that. <laughs> I can't wait for that. Stone summit partial armor set. Dark Rhyme Del- there's so much stuff to do. What are you doing here? <gasps> oh, we get to find out what happened. March 17th. Damn, that looks good. <laughs> yeah, that- yeah. Let's play it back one more time. Your wounds have mended. A little bit slower, let's see if there's anything we miss. Obviously this is the character introductions. So each, it seems like we're gonna have different playable character maybe? I can do a little bit faster, okay. So we got like, we can play as Ryland with the greatsword. Seems kind of engineer mixed with it. Cinder Steel Temper is our sword masteress. Vision Steel Shot. I were uh, dare not Daredevil, but um, what should we call it? <laughs> Why can't I dead eye? That's the word I'm looking for. Got a pistol guy. It seems like a nice group with regards the difference in skills. I mean, sorry, I was really out of my set. That map looks awesome. So does this one. Like these maps look great. I like how I the North is now an upgradable hub. That is fantastic as well. This is what I wanted. I wanted like a city place, a hub. Four season one missions were played for the first time ever. This is where I really want to slow it down, figure out. I'm guessing it's going to be the first four, like where we introduce all our characters, hopefully. So we've got Bram and Craigstead. Knock. I don't remember where he came in, to be honest. Rocks and Frostbite. Oh. And Sarah. That was Sarah, wasn't it? By Sarah, I mean Scarlet. I think it is. Pretty sure. Uh, I personally have not played Stone. Some armor looks pretty cool as well. Guessing that's the heavy, that's probably light there. No, maybe that's light and that's, no, that's light and that's medium, I'd say. Uh, but yeah, I've never played season one, so I'm really looking forward to seeing that now. That's been on the table for so long. Runic armor set and cape as well. That looks awesome too. Like, this has been on the table for so long, and to finally 
to go into the game and now we have plays Ryland dropping into Dark Rhyme Delves which is where Almora dies I'm pretty sure we've got destroyers there we've got Ice Brute and destroyers there that is interesting still conflict between the two dragons and then Almora That is going to be a busy day. Well, that is my kind of brief reaction to the trailer. I'm imagining it's going to be the introduction to the four characters with regards to the season one story. I'd say it'd be Flame and Frost is the story we're going to get. That's how, that's how Knock came in with the, the consortium. Uh, during the time young Norn travels Black Citadel, yeah, so that's when we meet Bram. Kanak is first mentioned in Lost Shores, and we get Lost Shores as well. We had Rocks. Queen's Jubilee, I doubt it. No, she was also in Flame and Frost. Yeah. And then we had Scarlet slash Sarah. Spelt weird with a C, isn't it? Yeah. But that... I'm guessing it's going to be Maple Lost Shores and Flame and Frost. Like, it's going to be at the start of the thing. It's not going to be Winter's Day or Shadow of the Mad King. So they're the first main two things we have. And I did not. Oh no, I did have to spike after on. Good. Phew. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's gonna be Flame and Frost, Lost Shores, probably, maybe Secret of Set some. But oh my God, yes, they're bringing Living World Season One back. I am so excited for this patch. I cannot wait. Uh, I'll be playing through it in game. To be honest, I'll start with the new stuff. Um, and then I'll probably do the old stuff. I go on stream or something. I don't know. I do want to do it. Actually, no, I kind of want my genuine reaction without being distracted, so I'll probably do it first recorded. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, very much looking forward to it. Visions of the Past, Steel and Fire. What are you doing here? Well, here we go. Visions of the Past, Steel and Fire, March 17th, 2020. See you guys all in game. I can't wait for it. Oh, it's going to be so good. <laughs> take care guys thank you for watching i do hope you enjoy my brief reaction uh, uh i wish i could have done more in-depth stuff but i have no well thank you guys so much for watching i do hope you enjoyed my brief reaction um and kind of slight breakdown and maddening reaction to season season one coming back that's awesome news i'll be back later on in the week but until then you can check out this today's demo and giveaway for the Maguma Grasp. That kind of makes sense as to why they're bringing that back now, because they're revisiting season one, which is when Mordremoth woke up. Oh, that not make sense. It's all coming together. <laughs> uh, make sure to join the Discord to stay up to date with all things new on the channel, such as new videos, want to go live, and our weekly screenshot challenge every Saturday in Guild Wars 2. And that's it from me for today, so until next time, take care. See you guys later.